So here it is, the Ligu Kita Mix, which is Ligu's newest sub-brand. They are not only releasing those three bezel-less phones under the Kita brand, they also are doing some full view um, screen smartphones. Those are those 18 by 9 ratio screens with rounded corners, like on the Samsung Galaxy S8. Um, so this is one of the cheapest three bezel-less China phones that is around right now. It's priced at around 140 bucks, but sometimes it's on sale and you can get it at only around 110, 120 bucks, um, which is a pretty low price. Um, uh, but uh, this phone is a little strange to say the least because some uh, very important things are missing. But we will get to those later. Let's first have a look at the phone. So this thing is not made from metal, it's made from plastic. Now some might say this is disappointing, but I actually think uh, that it doesn't really matter. If you have a high quality plastic body, um, it can be as good as metal, right? Um, metal always feels kind of cool, so it's a nice change to have this warm feeling plastic here. And it's certainly a pretty good quality here and build quality is totally okay. And the phone is also fairly slim, yet rather stable. You can bend it, it has a little bit of flex, but not too much. And there also are no pressure marks on the screen when bending it. So, build quality is totally okay on this thing. So on the rear we find the camera module consisting of two cameras and a dual LED flash. But please um, note that uh, this dual camera is a fake one, like on most cheap um, dual camera phones. So it only does this cheap looking um, blurred circle around the center objects you want to focus on. And right now, even this doesn't really work that well. When having a look at the sides, we find the SIM tray on the left. This one takes either two nano SIM cards or one nano SIM card and one micro SD card. On the lower frame, we find a USB Type-C port. We find one of the speaker openings and of course the voice microphone. Then on the right side we find the hardware buttons, which are one on-off switch and the usual volume rocker. Those sit in place rather tight, so don't rattle and feel um, like a good quality. They are not made from metal, they are also made from plastic. And on the upper frame we find another speaker opening. Yep, this thing actually has stereo speakers, but please don't expect anything from them because they sound really crappy. When looking at the front, we find, of course, nothing on the upper side of the screen. But on uh, the chin area, we find a home button with an integrated fingerprint scanner and in the left edge, a very small front camera. But sadly, there are quite a few shortcomings. So one nice thing is that compared to other three bezel-less China phones, within the lower price ranges. The upper screen bezel is rather slim here. It's pretty much exactly the same size as the left and right bezels. But this comes at a cost. As you can see, there is a no phone call receiver. So um, they are actually using uh, one of the stereo speakers here on the upper side for that. And uh, that causes a serious issue because you can't talk to someone on the phone without anyone else around you listening. Everyone around you will hear um, what your interlocutor is talking. And that's a very serious downside. But it comes even worse. This phone doesn't offer a light sensor, so there is no automatic brightness control. You always need to control brightness manually using the slider here. I mean, you can do this, but it's just extremely annoying. Um, I don't want to do this and for me this phone is totally useless due to this. But <laughs> it doesn't even have a proximity sensor which would um, turn the phone screen off when you do a phone call. So let me show you that. When you're actually doing a phone call... So, let's call. The screen will just turn off automatically, 
right after a certain time, not based on a sensor. So when you want to turn it on again, you always need to press the power button, which also is really annoying. And then when you ended the phone call, you will be um, facing a locked screen and need to unlock again. Um, those missing sensors are just a serious downside. And well, for me, this phone is useless due to those missing sensors. Maybe you feel different, but I guess most will feel the same about this. What's a little bit annoying too is that the fingerprint scanner in the home button um, does rattle a lot. It is not a, a real button, so it's just a touch sensitive area, but this thing is totally used. If I tap on this, you probably hear this. This sounds totally cheap. The scanner itself works nicely, um, but um, this, this rattling noise just is totally annoying. What they did better than their competitors though is um, actually using uh, the home button as a home button. As you probably know, on most three bezel-less China phones you can't use this entirely for system navigations but, only, but always need to use uh, this on-screen button bar to navigate through the system because one feature always is missing um, depending on how you configure the home button. This is not the case here on the Ligo Kija Mix. You can totally live without the on-screen buttons. So actually, when tapping the, the home button once, it will go back. And when tapping it for a longer time, it will go home. And now if you ask how you open the app switcher, you swipe from the right to the left on the home button, like this. So you see this? If you swipe, you get the app switcher. If I swipe in the opposite direction, nothing happens. So that's actually, actually pretty neat and I wish that the other three bezel-less phones would implement something like that as well. Regarding the quality of the 5.5 inch Full HD screen, I am very much surprised. Um, it's a great quality panel considering the price tag. Um, popping colors, great contrast, an insane brightness and I mean this is really bright. I mean that's brighter than the average of China phones. Um, you can easily read this thing outside under bright sunlight, really no issue. And also the viewing angles are just top notch, as you can see, there is really nothing to complain about. And also the touch screen works very well, it's a 5 point touch panel with a great touch resolution and a really good reaction time and accuracy, so really nothing to be angry with here. Another issue this phone has is that it doesn't boast a headphone jack, so you need to use the Type-C port for audio. Now the problem with this is that Ligu forgot to deliver a USB Type-C to 3.5mm adapter with this phone. Instead they are delivering Type-C headphones. Now you will probably say, well, isn't that great? Well, it could be if those were good headphones, but the headphones that come with this phone are just very cheap ones that don't sound good, actually they sound like shit and they also don't fit very well in the ears. So um, basically digital audio output is something that is supposed to improve audio quality but what's the point of it if you can't make use of it due to the crappy headphones and no adapter coming with it. So I actually need to purchase a USB Type-C to 3.5mm adapter with this phone yourself or just get some high quality Type-C earbuds for example from Xiaomi. But yeah, I would have wished that they would have implemented a 3.5mm headphone check in there. Um, it would be much easier. Camera inside the Ligo Kija Mix is kinda average. Um, at daylight it does okay pictures with a, with a fairly good amount of detail and colors. Sharpness looks okay as well. But um, when the lighting gets worse it generates a lot of noise as you probably can see here. So not the very best camera inside of there. It's a usable snapshot camera at daylight, but nothing more. Um, what's disappointing is that the bokeh mode, as I said, is a, well, fake one. 
and it also doesn't work properly. When doing a picture with the bouquet effect it always blurs out this area here and lets this one sharp. It really isn't dependent on how you set the focus, how you set the bouquet settings, what kind of picture you take. It always looks like that. So this feature doesn't work at all right now and they really need to fix this. Talking about fixes, yes, the illegal Kija Mix does support OTA updates. As you can see, this thing runs a customized Android version called Freemi OS with a slightly customized user interface, which looks pretty much okay. And here is the OTA updater. And right now it runs on Android 7.0 Nougat. And the security patch level is up to date with August 5, which is nice to see. The latest system release um, is from September 5th, 2017. What they have done a nice job with is system performance. Um, it is very well optimized, runs really smooth and snappy. Um, when using the phone without knowing what's inside, you probably wouldn't expect that it just is based on a MT6750T, it could as well be something more powerful or even a Snapdragon processor. So it is really smooth and also does well in multitasking despite only boasting 3 GB of RAM. Um, Facebook does lag a bit initially, but that's normal on this chipset. But then after a while it starts running very smooth as you can see. So yeah, really nothing to complain about in terms of performance. This one is pretty decent. So in the end, my verdict after the first impressions of the LIGO Kicha Mix is that this phone could have had a lot of potential, but the missing sensors and the not so good camera kind of screws it up. If they would have included um, a proper earpiece there, a light sensor, a proximity sensor, and yes, they could have well done a slightly thicker um, bezel on the top of the screen for this um, and probably would have kicked out the dual camera in favor for a proper single camera. This phone could have been an okay device but um, on the current state there is really no way I could recommend this phone. Um, just too many shortcomings and stuff that hasn't been brought to the end in my opinion. So that's it for the first impression video about the Ligu Kicha Mix. I'm not sure if I will do a full video review on this unit. Um, I think it is a waste of time. Um, let's see about that. So thanks for watching and see you with the next one. Bye bye.